Hi hey guys, Flynn Fans here. Hi, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's doing better than me, but we won't go into that. I hope everybody's basically enjoying themselves. Enjoying themselves. Hopefully everybody's not getting too stressed through these times. Right, what's the point of this video? Right, as you can see by the title, it's time, place, or gear, time, place. And part two. I will leave a link in the corner for part one. If you haven't seen that one already, it's just me talking. This is just me talking again and showing bits. But yeah, you don't have to take what I say as a as gospel. You can do whatever you want. It's highly up to you how you do, how you pack your rucksack and how you do things. I'm not going to show you how to pack a rucksack. Full stop. That's not what I'm here. It's what I'm not doing this video for. I'm basically showing you time, how, how quick things can be and how easy things can get. Or if you get organised, how quick and easy things can be. Yeah, like I've already shown you. Oh, ow, my belt. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just not very well at the moment, guys. That's the reason why I'm struggling. I've shown you the belt. I've shown you how quick and simple and quick and stuff easy that can get out of. As I said, that one there's my cook kit. That one there's my water bottle. There is my soil and everything like that. As I said, cook kit. I'm in pouch with everything I need. You know what that is. I'm not saying to say what that is. And I've always got my compass. And I've always got a wind-up torch on my belt at all times. That never leaves my belt. That would always stay there. So basically, as I say to you, time. So you need a compass. You're not digging around your rucksack to go out your compass out just to take a bearing. you always got it there. And it's always simple. It comes dark all of a sudden. Automatically, you can grab your torch out. Might not be the brightest thing in the world. But it's going to do something because it's there. It's quite quick, quick, quick and simple and easy. Let's grab. That's what I'm saying to you guys. It's just timing. It's like, say, for example, it's absolutely hammering down in rain. Yeah, I can just go into this pouch, grab out my pegs, my ridge line, and my guard rope, all for my part in this peg on tech trip roll, and then it's all there. Yeah, and then I've got on to the other side and I can grab my tripod now. I know where it is. That's what I'm saying, how quick and time. I mean by time, it saves you time. Yeah, you're not digging around for the looks at for one small little item. Yeah, same as you, like, if I cut myself, for example, I can go into my pockets of my trousers, and they're not, my, I'm wearing jeans now, but I can grab out that, and I can grab out that if I go into shop, or if someone I know, I can grab them two out, and they're there, done, straight away. Like, same as my EDC wood pouch. As I said, when I mean time, I mean it's time. Time means everything to me personally lately. And straight away, there's one there. And I can have that on my belt, on my waist, everything like that. It's the same as my survival kit, guys. This is the thing, I've gone away from the tin. I've got rid of the tin. I've actually let someone else have my survival tin. And I've gone to my survival belt kit. I. As I said, your time. I'm not gonna go into my rucksack every time I want to go and thing like that. I don't want the thing in my pocket. I don't like that type of thing. It's bulky. It's uncomfortable. But it's time where I can just scrape, take take off my belt, and it's there. I'm not running around. I'm not going oh, oh, and going into my tin and and going all over the floor. I can take my belt off, or the outer part of my belt, undo. The top where it was all thing like that. Go for it, look into it, see what I got, take out what I need, and everything like that. Then go from there. I'm not running around going tin uh, empty because that to me is time wasting. Because then you have to put it all back in the tin, and, and you're in a panic. You're not going to be able to fit all that back in the tin. So that's again time. It's the same as big tools. I'm going to show you a clip right now. With this piece now of my large tools you've probably all seen this before but this is my large tool so here we go right now right, and guys there's my saw there's the saw oh saw extra blades there's my little hatchet and there's the red camp shovel as i was saying everything has to be organized and everything that goes in its place this is this back system down the bottom here I do keep some extra tinder when I can. So, right, I'm going to back. 
Like, as you can see, that was where my, I keep my large tools, and they're out of the way. In time, again, I can grab them, I can pull them out. Done. I'm not wasting time. I'm not looking for things. I'm not, then I can just, and I'm not emptying my rucksack just to get one thing out. It's the same as first aid kit. My first aid kit always lives on top if I'm not carrying the extra light, if I'm not carrying the <sighs> Condor EMT pouch. My other first aid kit is always up here. Yeah, I will leave links with these other videos I'm talking about up in the corner or in the description, guys. So, yeah. To me, time and gear, time, gear and place. Like, I keep my, my large tools at the back of my rucksack because I live in the UK. And in the UK, we have so many live walls and so many walls like that. Things like that. And I want them outside, out of mind. No one can see them. I'm getting, when they're against my back, no one can see them because they're well against my back. And then there's the rucksack, as you all know. Yeah, so that's a good place. Time, I can take them out easy, no problem. Um, me and the gear, same thing. And then it comes to my top warning. I can just take my top out, done. It's straight away. Yeah, as I said, my top's in this pocket. The rest of my tools, the rest of my stuff, my top goes in. This one, I have two of these with something else in it. I am not showing that one because I'm still working on it. Yeah, same as first aid. I can easily get my first aid stuff. As I said, my other first aid kit clips to my belt on a drop leg and it's there. And I always have these two in my pocket at all times. I have one of each trousers. What goes in my jacket? What goes in my jacket? What goes in my rucksack? And same again, guys. I have one of these in my rucks and my jacket. I have one in my EDC woods pouch. I have one. Every I have multiples. Same again, guys. What I'm saying about things. If I really die stretch. I can grab it out of my quick deploy first aid kit. And there is a SWAT T tourniquet in there as well. So, I hope this makes more sense. I'm hoping this is just doesn't sound like I'm babbling, but yeah. So, as I said to you guys, I am not telling you what you should do and shouldn't do, but think about it. Time when it comes to first aid stuff is time always 99% of the time it's always time when it comes to first aid stuff when it comes to shelter to me it's time if you take time to look for your shelter if you take time to take your shelter out of your rucksack but I don't want to keep my, my, my shelter in the body of my rucksack I want to keep it on the side pouch because I know it's quicker and time as well guys it means you don't have to think about where you put things and place you put it in places where you know they are you don't put things in stupid places like I'm not gonna put my spork in with this pouch with the rest of my stuff because that would just be crazy so yeah right I'm leaving it here guys because I have no idea how long this video is but it looks like it's going to be at least I reckon 12 minutes or more so thank you very much for watching I do apologize if this video is being a bit too long and I do apologize if I'm speaking too fast but I just want to get this video done quicker than before I did this one before and it ended up being 27 minutes and I didn't like it that long because I thought you might go <laughs> go sleep so yeah so thank you very much for watching please put the thumbs up if you put the thumbs up please put the thumb down if you don't like this video but please tell me why and come join us on Plymouth Fans on Facebook Instagram and here on YouTube and all the links will be in the description and thank you very much for watching thank you bye bye